In today's video, we're diving deep into a head to head comparison of two of the most popular WordPress page builders on the market, Elementor and Divi. If you're building a website and you're wondering which one to choose, you're in the right place. We're going to cover everything from ease of use, features, customization options, performance, pricing, integration, support, and finally our recommendation for you. At the end of the video, we'll show you how to install both Elementor and Divi, and we'll actually show you how to get set up with WordPress with one of our favorite hosting plans. So stick around to the end of the video because you're not going to want to miss anything we have for you today. Let's get started. First, let's talk about ease of use. Elementor is often praised for its intuitive drag and drop interface. When you first open Elementor, you see a clean user-friendly design with a live preview of your page. This means you can see changes in real time as you make them. It's very straightforward and a great option for beginners. The sidebar on the left-hand side of the page gives you everything you need to adjust the page, and you can simply drag and drop widgets to start designing. On the other hand, Divi also offers a a drag and drop interface, but it comes with a bit of a learning curve. Divi Builder is powerful, but it can be a bit overwhelming, especially for beginners. And with Divi, you have the power to use the back end builder or the visual front end builder. The front end builder is a bit more user friendly, but it may take some time to get used to. However, once you get the hang of it, Divi can be just as easy to use as Elementor. Next, let's talk about some features. Elementor offers a free version that comes with a lot of features, including over 40 widgets and 30 templates. The pro version unlocks even more, like a theme builder, a WooCommerce builder, and a pop-up builder. You also get access to dynamic content, motion effects, and custom fonts. Divi, however, does not have a free version, but its premium package is loaded with features. Divi comes with over 800 pre-made website layouts, a split testing tool, and advanced design options. The Divi library allows you to save and reuse your designs, which can be a huge time saver. If you're someone who loves a plethora of features, Divi might be your go-to. Additionally, Divi's role editor lets you control what different user roles can do within the builder. And this is really a great feature for larger teams. When it comes to customization, Elementor and Divi both shine. Elementor allows you to customize every single aspect of your page with ease. You can adjust margins, paddings, and add a custom CSS if you need more control. The theme builder in Elementor Pro allows you to design your header, footer, and other theme parts with the same ease as your pages. Divi also offers extensive customization options and goes a step further with its split testing option. And this basically lets you test different versions of your page to see which one performs better. Divi's advanced design settings include custom margins, paddings, fonts, and colors. And just like Elementor, you can even use custom CSS if needed. Both options are excellent for creating unique, personalized websites, but Divi's advanced features might appeal more to power users. Now let's talk about performance. Performance is crucial for any website. Elementor is known for being lightweight and fast. The team behind Elementor continuously updates the plugin to ensure it remains fast and efficient. They also offer guidelines on optimizing your Elementor site for better performance. Divi has improved performance over the years and now boasts fast uptimes thanks to its latest updates. However, it's still slightly heavier than Elementor, which might affect your site's speeds if you don't optimize properly. So it's important to follow best practices like using caching plugins and optimizing images regardless of which builder you end up choosing. Now let's talk about pricing because pricing is a big factor for many users. Elementor offers a free version that is quite capable. I actually still use it on one of my websites. The pro version of Elementor starts at $49 for a single site per year, which is pretty affordable for most users too if you want to upgrade and not have just the basic plan. You also have the option to choose higher plans if you need Elementor Pro on multiple websites. Elementor Pro's basic plan starts at $4.92 per month. You can also build this annually at $59 per year. And they also have some more advanced options as you can see here, which basically include more sites and more features. Divi on the other hand has a fee of $89 per year for for their plan and then $277 per year with their pro plan. But what's cool about Divi, as you can see here on their site, they also offer a lifetime option. So for their basic plan, if you want to pay $249 today, you get lifetime access and you don't have to keep paying that $89 per year. And then if you want their pro version today, you only have to pay $297 to get their lifetime access for their pro version. So this can actually save you a lot of money down the road. If you know that you want to use Divi, you can just pay the nearly $300 and you can have the pro version for life. This can really be a great deal, especially if you're working on multiple projects over several years. Both builders offer a good value for money, but it really depends on your budget and whether you prefer a monthly rate or a yearly rate or even a lifetime rate. Now let's talk about some integrations because integrations are a really important aspect to consider. Elementor integrates with a wide range of third-party tools and plugins, and this includes popular tools like MailChimp, HubSpot, and Zapier. This makes it easy to extend the functionality of your site and connect it with other services that you like to use. Divi also offers a variety of integrations, including 
including email marketing services, social media platforms, and CRM tools. Both builders are compatible with WordPress plugins, so you can add almost any functionality to your site that you need. Now let's talk about support and community. Support and community can make a big difference in your experience with a page builder. Elementor offers extensive documentation, tutorials, and a helpful community forum. They also provide premium support for pro users, which includes live chat and email support. Divi, being a product of Elegant Themes, comes with excellent support as well. They offer 24 seven live chat support and a comprehensive knowledge base. So with either one, you're going to have great support. The Divi community is also very active with many tutorials, Facebook groups, and forums where you can get help and inspiration. All right, those are all the topics that we wanted to address. And before we get into giving our final recommendation for you, let's briefly talk about hosting, walk through setting up a hosting plan, and show you how to get both of these installed on WordPress. Both Elementor and Divi require a good hosting plan for optimal performance. And one of the companies that we love that pairs great with WordPress is Bluehost. Bluehost offers great speed, reliable uptime, and excellent customer support. And they have plans tailored for WordPress, making it super easy to get started. Plus, if you use our affiliate link that we'll leave down below in the description, you'll get a special discount with Bluehost. And this not only helps support the channel, but you're also getting top-notch web hosting with Bluehost. So let's go ahead and walk through the process of setting up your Bluehost account, and then we'll show you how to get Divi and Elementor installed in your WordPress. So go ahead and click on that link down below in the description to Bluehost, and we'll join up here together to get started. Once you click on that link down below, it should look something like this, and you'll see that starting at $1.99 per month, which is regularly $7.99 per month, you're going to get an amazing deal with Bluehost. This is going to include a free domain for the first year, free SSL certificate, one-click WordPress installation, expert 24-7 support, and a secure, reliable hosting plan with Bluehost. When you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and click Get Started Now, and then we can see some of the options here that we have to choose for our hosting plan. So there's a basic option, which we're saving 75% off with our link, and that starts at $1.99 per month. The Choice Plus is going to be $3.99 per month. The online store is $7.49 per month, and the pro version is $9.99 per month. Let's just go ahead and look at some of the features included in each plan briefly. On the basic plan, you're going to get 10 websites, 10 gigs of storage, 100 concurrent visitors. That just means that you can have up to 100 people on your site at once. And this is ideal for about 40,000 monthly visitors. You also get AI site creation tools, a 30-day money-back guarantee, a free domain, a free email, free SSL, free CDN, a web application firewall, DDoS protection, and 24-7 chat support. There's also more features that you can click here and take a look if needed. So the recommended plan is the choice plan that includes up to 50 websites, 50 gigs of SSD storage, 500 concurrent visitors. This is ideal for about 200,000 views monthly. And then this plan also includes daily backups, which we highly recommend you get. This actually saved my website one time when I was editing it. And if I didn't have those daily backups, I wouldn't have been able to revert to an older version. Depending on your needs, go ahead and choose one of these options. We also have the online store here. This is more if you're in the e-commerce space. And then the pro version is if you have a lot of traffic and you need high security for your website. Let's just go ahead and continue with the basic plan for now. Once we choose that, we're going to choose our domain. So let's go ahead and just pick a domain. It'll bring us to the next page. So we have basic WordPress hosting here for one year. You can change that to three years or you can pay monthly. Monthly is really expensive at $15.99 per month. So we suggest you lock in for at least a year here. That'll make the price go down significantly. Then we're paying for the domain name, which is free for one year. We also have who is privacy protection here. That's $2.95 and we're getting the first month for free. And then it also includes a professional email. It's a three month free trial. You can go ahead and try it out or you can just take these off if you don't need them. So as you can see, our total is $35.40. And before you check out, you're going to want to make sure to include our coupon code here, my first website. When you're ready to check out, just go ahead and click continue to check out. And then you're going to have to put in some information here. So we'll go ahead and fill this out here. Once we filled out our name and our password for our account, let's go ahead and enter our credit card information here. And then once we've done that, everything will be ready to go. And you'll see for a whole year, we get our web hosting plan for only $35.40, which is a great deal. Once you're done with that and you're ready to check out, just go ahead and click submit payment and you'll be on your way to having your hosting plan. Now that you're logged into your hosting plan, your page should look something similar to this. What you're going to want to do is go down to websites here on the left-hand side, and you're going to want to add a site. Next, we're going to do install WordPress, and then we'll go continue. Now you can give this site a title. I'll go ahead and say my first website demo, and then we'll continue. And here you're going to choose your domain name, which should just pop up here because it's the one that you connected with your account. I'm just going to use a temporary one, but we can go ahead and continue now. Now it's going to install WordPress. So everything should take a couple minutes here and we'll be back in a second. Now that you have your website up, it should bring you to a page that looks like this. Now you can go ahead and create your site with Bluehost's AI site creator. But for the sake of this video, because we're installing WordPress, we're going to go to guided website setup here in the bottom left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and click start setup. Now you can go ahead and answer these questions. I'm just 
just going to continue setup and skip through these. And then you can go ahead and give your site title a name, a description, some social media. You can upload a logo and then preview it here. It also has a bunch of other things here like top priority. It's going to walk you through some design stuff, some features. You can add your plugins here. And then it also is going to show you what's next to complete your setup. It's a really intuitive and streamlined process that helps you get WordPress set up very simply. Once you're ready, go ahead and click complete setup. And that's going to finish and show you the WordPress dashboard here. Bluehost really is one of the best websites to use WordPress with because of their intuitive builder here. Let's first start with Elementor. It's the easier one to install. Let's go ahead and go to plugins and you'll see this bar on the left-hand side. You can just go hover over whatever you'd like and click on it. Now that we're on plugins, we're going to go to the top left-hand corner here and add a new plugin. We'll go ahead and search for plugins and type in Elementor. And as soon as we do that, we'll see that Elementor is the first one that pops up. We can go ahead and click install now. We'll give that a sec to install and then we'll have to activate it here. Once it's installed, it'll ask you to activate it. So let's do that. That just makes sure that it's working on your website. You can install it and just have it on your website, but not active. So just make sure that you click active. Okay, so now it's going to let us create our account here. We can go ahead and skip or create. Go ahead and create. I'm just going to skip for the sake of this video. Then you can continue with the hello theme. I'll go ahead and skip that. And then they'll ask you if you want any of these pro features. We'll go ahead and skip that for now as well. And then welcome aboard. So you can either choose a professionally designed template or import one on your own, or you can edit a blank canvas. Let's go ahead and choose the design template here. As you'll see, there's a bunch of nice options here, but they all look like they are pro versions. So we'll just go ahead and start with the blank canvas. All right, now that we've done that, this is the Elementor interface. You'll see that we can kind of drag and drop widgets here, and it's a very intuitive design. So to drag and drop a widget, we can just select plus, and then we can do a grid or a flex box. Or if we get out of this, we can even bring over a container and drop it on the page here. And that gives us a grid. Let's see, we can drop one of these two. All right, that's a container. Let's see what else we can do. And to see what else we can do, we can do a heading, we can do a video, we can add all of these different things here. One of the cool ones actually is Google Maps. So you can add a location here, which is pretty neat. And just like that, you added a Google Map. That's pretty cool. And it looks pretty professional on your website. So that's how to get Elementor installed. We won't go into too much more detail. We have plenty of other videos on the channel if you want to learn how to use Elementor. Now let's go and show you how to set up Divi. For Divi, you're actually going to have to click a link down below in the description that will leave for you and it'll bring you to Elegant Themes. You'll see something similar to this and you'll have to go through the process to sign up today. Like we said earlier, Divi is not free. You'll have to download this after you pay. Once you've paid, you can download Divi and it'll give you a zip file that goes to your downloads. After that, you're going to want to go back to your WordPress account, go over to appearance in the left-hand column here, and then hover over it. And then you'll click themes. These are some auto populated themes, but what you're going to want to do is to click add new theme. Now you're going to go to upload theme in the left-hand corner, and you're going to want to choose that file and upload the zip to your WordPress. Once you've done that, then that will start the process of Divi being set up, and then you can go through the interface there. All right, so that's how to install both Elementor and Divi on your WordPress account. Now, the question you've all been waiting for, which one is better for you, Elementor or Divi? If you're a beginner and you're looking for an easy to use, lightweight page builder with a great free option, Elementor is going to be the way to go. However, if you're looking for advanced features, more customization options, and you don't mind paying a little bit more, then Divi is going to be an excellent choice. Ultimately, both Elementor and Divi are fantastic page builders, and you really cannot go wrong with either. It all comes down to your specific needs and preferences for the project that you're working on. That's all we have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. We'll leave the links to all the different resources that we talked about today down below in the description. And specifically, if you want a great deal on web hosting, be sure to check out our link down below to Bluehost. Now it is an affiliate link. We will get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you, but that really helps us keep creating free videos like this for you. So thank you so much in advance for helping us out and using our link. And last but not least, this channel is dedicated to helping you start and grow your first website. With that said, thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you in the next video.